Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the motor on an electric EO wheel Nano 1.1. So the process is pretty simple. The tools you're going to need are a large flathead screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. So the first thing I do is I remove the drive belt from this motor pulley, just like that. And the next thing we're going to do is use this large screwdriver to pry off this pulley. You might not need this, but I find it's just very simple to do if you're using a screwdriver. It helps give you some leverage. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these two or I'm going to loosen these screws. They won't actually come all the way out. But um, these will loose, this will loosen the wires that are holding the, um, this will loosen the wires that, uh, from the motor that are held into the PCB. So now once I've loosened those, these will just come out. There's a little minus sign here for the place that the black wire goes and a plus sign where the red wire goes. So that's all pretty easy. And then, um, there's just two screws left, and now I'm using the small Phillips screwdriver to remove these. And that's all there is to it. Now we'll get the new motor. And replacing the motor is just slightly trickier. So the thing you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure you get these holes where the screws go lined up with the screw holes. That's kind of the trickiest part. At least it is for me. And one thing I do is I make sure that the motor shaft is in the middle. That seems to help quite a bit as a guide. That one I didn't tighten all the way, but I got it snug. And then I do the other side. And now both of those are tight. You don't get them real tight, just, you know, kind of snug to tight. Um, now I have to do the wires, and these you can just stick in, and they'll generally stay in place while you tighten the screws. So I've put those two wires back in, and now I'm just snugging these screws. And then just the last step is simply, oh, put on the pulley. You just push that all the way on. And then take the dry belt, put it back on the pulley. Make sure that the pulley's on the right spot on the flyer. And there you go. The motor has been replaced. It's as easy as that. Thanks for watching.